Lauren Bobert, Lauren Bobert, Lauren Bobert. She's always making a fool of herself. And we have another example of that here. She's attempting to criticize Joe Biden um, about his speech that she feels is so divisive and blah, 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 blah. blah. And it doesn't go particularly well, I'll say. My job above all else is to secure your freedom, is to secure your rights, to keep you free. I want what's best for the American people. Joe Biden, he wants what's best for the Democrat Party as well as the Chinese Communist Party. Joe Biden stood in front of Independence Hall and gave one of the most disgusting and decisive speeches. <laughs> That's my fake laugh. Um, so if you missed it, she said disgusting and decisive speeches. I agree it was decisive, but I think she meant to say divisive. Um, and totally, I misspeak all the time. That's not even the criticism of this. It's a little bit funny. But it's, it's so fascinating to watch, as we'll continue in this clip, their inability to substantively critique Biden's speech that they act like they're so enraged about. If you're that enraged, you should have a good way of articulating what's so bad about it. Um, but anyways, that's just a little bit of a funny moment there where she goes decisive instead of divisive, uh, but we'll continue. In American history, a speech that was laughed at and mocked by nearly everyone except for the lefties. The American people... They so again, she's just completely uh, saying nothing that is impactful or true or anything like that. Uh, we got a poll, we're going to talk about this later in the show exclusively, but I'll drop a little bit about it here now that nearly two thirds um, of Americans believe that MAGA is a threat to our democracy. So no, the whole country is not laughing at Biden's speech. They're resonating with it and they understand that what he's saying is absolutely true. They don't need a lecture. They need an apology from Joe Biden. And Laura, Joe Biden, it's very, very clear, is suffering from an illness in addition to cognitive failure, TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. And I'm pretty sure it's at a level four at this point. Joe can't talk about his accomplishments because he does not have anything. So instead, he'll just get up there and say, orange man bad, and hope that the media will cover for him. Okay, so that was just pitiful. Um, you've had time now. The speech happened a while ago. Uh, you should be able to craft a better argument against it than that. Even though I don't think you should, I think you should come out and say what Biden uh, highlighted in that speech was absolutely accurate and we should be concerned about it. But if you are going to be dishonest, can you at least be better at it? <laughs> because, I, okay, your your best argument is that Biden has Trump derange, derangement syndrome. Really? That's just so basic, so surface level um, and does not even attempt to dig into the substance of what Biden uh, was talking about and what we've all been talking about. I want you to explain, Lauren Boebert, why you feel it's justified for Trump and his movement to continually say the election was stolen, to um, at least the movement try to excuse, support, apologize for, um, and, and say that it was justified for Trump to attempt to stay in power after he lost the election, to overturn the 2020 election results. Tell me how that's not a threat to democracy. That is how you would actually change anybody's mind. Just saying that Biden has Trump derangement syndrome is silly when, yeah, I think everyone should be absolute. I mean, I get the, the, um, you know, what you're trying to say when you use that, but, uh, everyone should absolutely feel deranged <laughs> about how much of a concerning moment we're in. Of course. I mean, as I just said, Donald Trump attempted after he lost the election to stay in power to overturn the 2020 election results to a very significant degree. So being deeply concerned about that and focused on that is 100% justified. And Lauren Boebert just is not very good at what she does, which is supposed to be covering for her movement and um, spreading talking points that are effective, sort of, but she's not good at it. Um, unfortunately for her. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support what I do as well as get access to the full show, all of the stories hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus a weekly bonus show, you can go to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley.